On the breakfast, the Independent National Electoral Commission has expressed a divergent view with the President of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari, on election funding. What does this mean for the 2023 elections? Also on the breakfast, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, says policy of cash withdrawal limit would aid in curbing electronic fraud. That's the e-fraud. We'll have further discussions as we proceed. We'll also go through today's news super headlines to analyzing the biggest stories of the day. All this ahead on the breakfast. A very good morning to you. Welcome to the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Patel. It's a beautiful Monday morning, and we're set for. Uh, wonderful discussions with in-depth analysis of uh, topics and subjects that are of importance to you. Well, I am Messi Bopo. It's good to have you join us and a compliment of the season. All right. Uh, interesting one. Uh, Mercy, we have uh, <laughs> I hope we had a good weekend. And of course, a uh, lot's been going on this weekend. Uh, I mean, and uh, conversations on social media uh, in the space. Fantastic. Very busy. <laughs> Yesterday, I saw um, more than more than three million tweets of the word Messi. Yeah, yeah the name Messi yesterday. So is it the Messi know. with the uh, M E S S I or the M E R C Y? Stop giving yourself a. Oh, a no, we a, we, we oh, need to get to that. Stop giving yourself a. Um, but before we get to that, let's uh, go over to Ebony State and of course uh, look at what's been happening uh, there because. Um, the governor of Ebony State has made one or two pronouncements, uh, uh, which you know got people talking. I mean, that's what people do these days. <laughs> we just talk. Um, you sleep, people talk. You wake up, people talk. You eat, people talk. You don't eat, people talk. So, but anyway, uh, 111 billion dollars at Naira, sorry, is what uh, the Ebony State government has approved you know, for the indigents of the state to celebrate Christmas. I mean, this wouldn't be a bad time to come from Ebony State. Well, according to the state's um, special advisor, uh, the go special advisor to the governor, rather, on the media and strategy, he announced his involvement on a, a Saturday, and they're saying that um, in a bid to celebrate uh, the Christmas and the Yuletide for Ebony people at home and in the diaspora, uh, the State Executive Council on the 13th of December 2022 approved the release of the sum of $111,250,000 Naira uh, covering the transportation of Ebonians, that's a good, how they call it, or uh, indigents of Ebony State who are living in Lagos and Abuja to Ebony State for uh, the Christmas celebration, including also not just transportation, but including the cost of rice, uh, Christmas gifts and largesse uh, to selected 1,270 Aboyans living in Lagos and Abuja. I'm going to give them um, those things. Uh, so that is one. That is one. Another one. Another one is that uh, the Aboyan State Executive Council approved the naming of some some roads after I Empire, I am former Senate. Uh, president and former secretary to the government of the federation, and uh, Bola Metin with the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress and uh, former governor of Lagos. But the, the controversial one, the controversial one is the um, naming of approval of the name, uh, naming of the new so called Olympic Stadium in Abakili Kiyata, the late General Sani Abacha the late General Sani Abacha, former military dictator uh, of Nigeria. I don't know if there's anything named after Abacha, but that's one that was, uh, that was the most controversial one from Ebony State. Mercy. So I, I think I'll start off with uh, Ebony State and the fact that that's very controversial. You know, there's been a lot that has happened this weekend. <laughs> one of it is this, you know, incident so yes, let's even look at it. what exactly we're we talking about or what exactly we're we dealing with here is the fact that uh, you have the government of a boy state or the, however, renaming a stadium after ex-military dictator Sania Bacha, and it's quite worrisome. But let's look at where you know, the arguments and conversation has come from. 
And some people have said, oh, yes. Uh, if you look at state creation, if you also look at reorganization of Nigeria at the time, uh, Sonia Bacha has been on top or has been part of it. One would say renaming. At the time, a boy is also one of the states, if I'm not mistaken, in 1996 that was created. Uh, Eboi, Bayosa, Nasaro, Zamfara, Gombe, and Ikiti State uh, were created by, you know, the ex-military uh, governor or dictator, however you want to look at it. And so this also, it's where this argument is coming from, that yes, it's valid. He, he was part of state creation. It's okay for you to name infrastructure after his name. But on the other hand, some persons have also queried why should we especially when we say you know he's a military dictator and there's been a comparison to the, to you know this particular action from the government of a boy state so it's like saying you are naming uh so you have uganda saying we're naming government or infrastructure we're naming infrastructure after Idi Amin. yes that that's you know like the comparison or you know, Germans saying that we are naming infrastructure after uh, Hitler. Mm -hmm. So that, that's, that's it. But at the end of the day, uh, you want to begin to ask what is right and what is not right. Should that be the case? Because this is the argument, state creation. I, I saw a lot of comments and some people say it's a shame. It's a shame. How could he? How could he not? And others are saying, oh, he was involved in state creation. But I understand those who are actually making an argument for uh, you know, the naming of uh, this infrastructure uh, or in, uh, an infrastructure, really, uh, after the ex-military dictator, that's Sani Abacha. And those who are saying that are coming from the place of morality. So, but we also know the argument that morality is not law, Kofi. Morality is not law. That's what it is. And I don't think that in our polity as a country, I don't think we've gotten to a point where morality is a yardstick because I think that we're getting there. I feel like, you know, in years to come, I don't know how many years it would take, but we'll eventually get to, the, to that time where before you become a governor, before you become president or everything that you do, there would be uh, that particular question. Morality would be a yardstick to measure uh, whatever it is. But I don't think that we're big on that. But it's just a reflection of who we are, of the kind of leadership that we have, especially when we look at how much of funds have been looted by the Sani Abacha government when he was in charge. And because Nigerians are very comical and they find humor in everything, some people say, oh, yes, that's what we say. Sani Abacha is the president of Nigeria. He's, he's done a lot. I mean, he's done a lot than, you know, the current leaders. He's, he's given more money than the current leaders. But we also need to understand that the funds that he took out of Nigeria, whether or not it's true, because it's also another thing. Some people think that oh, all of this is that you don't have the living defending himself. And so every other thing is about Sani Abacha. Every fund that we have, oh, it's Sani Abacha, it's Sani Abacha. But let's also look at the fact that we have a climb that's, that's decent enough to say, hey, this is what it is, and we're remitting. So what if, you know, on the other hand, where these funds have been taken to and this government is not sincere enough to say we're returning it to us. What, what happens then? So it's a very dicey conversation that's been going on over the weekend. And I totally understand where, you know, the argument has been for those who are saying yes. He's involved in state creation. Well, is that enough reason why an infrastructure should be named after him despite, you know, the issue of corruption and, uh, you know, embezzlement of funds, public funds? What does he mean? Is it that we have trained ourselves, you know, to be very uh, corrupt people? To say we give excuses, we make excuses for wrong behavior and what have you. But like we say, uh, morality is not law. Yeah, uh, you know, I think I think you've you've said it all, Mercy. Um, little much to add uh, than to say that uh, you know. Uh, this isn't the first time Abacha is being Sunny Abacha is being honored in the country. Yes, indeed, he was military dictator uh, from 1993 to 1998, uh, right here in Nigeria. And um, he he had some some good good sides. People have talked about that. The fact that Abacha, you know, accomplished some things. Um, I mean, uh, during Nigeria's uh, what do you call it again? Uh, 
centenary celebrations. I think in 2014, uh, Bacha was um, given a, an honor alongside the likes of Babangida. People came out to fault the federal government uh, for, or, you know, as to why they gave Abacha a national honor. But um, what the government said that uh, in in defense of Sani Abacha and the fact that he was given a national honor at the time was that uh, he oversaw Nigeria's um, uh, at the increase of Nigeria's foreign reserves, the foreign exchange reserves, from $494 million in 1993 uh, to 9.6 billion US dollars by the middle of 1997. He also reduced Nigeria's external debt from 36 billion dollars in 1993 to 27 billion dollars in 1997. Uh, Federal government at the time also noted that um, uh, Sani Abacha had brought all the controversial uh, privatization programs of the Babangida administration uh, to a halt. He also reduced an inflation rate of 54% inherited from the IBB, as it's probably called the Ibrahim uh, Badamusi Babangida regime, uh, to 8.5% between 1993 and 1998, while the nation's primary commodity oil was on an average of $9 uh, per power. He was able to do all of that, and that's why the federal government at the time uh, said that he uh, uh, deserved to be given a national honor. People kicked against it, you know, but uh, he was given that. Um, that, But of course, like you said, the people of Ebony still have a peculiar uh, uh, affinity with the man because of his role in giving them uh, their their state. So that's that. I think we'll leave it at that. Uh, the, the, the stadium has not been completed, however. I wonder why they're calling it Olympic Stadium. Because, I mean, I, th I would think that if you want to call a stadium Olympic Stadium, it should be, it should have hosted the uh, the Olympic Games. But also, well, you can look at the fact that uh, maybe they want to have all the facilities there. You know, as a colleague, Olympic Stadium. But it's all good. Uh, congratulations to him. I think uh, uh, Nigerians can afford to live with that. People are even these days saying uh, the military era had uh, a lot of things to remember, a lot of things to celebrate. Um, there was more money around. I saw someone put up a comment, you know, on the post saying that we even had more money. Uh, coming the way of the citizens when Abacha was uh, was president. So that's that. Mercy. Let's move on. Well, so, so another one is that uh, there's a cholera, suspected cholera outbreak that has claimed 20 lives in Cross River State. Uh, you know, that's the report that, that that we have. And according to the, uh, you know, the primary health care director, Janet Tekpayon, uh, she said that, um, you know, this is really bad. And the government of the state is making efforts, you know, to calm all of that. But cholera is one thing that has lived with us as a people in our country. I mean, it feels like saying there's malaria in Nigeria. So there's cholera, you know, cholera, malaria. Uh, what other, you know, illness can you mention? <laughs> there are some things that, are, that have become a norm, and so I'm wondering, well, it's cholera. Cholera is, 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 is quite kind of you know, not, not like malaria, it's really deadly. No, I'm, I'm just saying, malaria is also deadly, but I'm saying that in Nigeria, Kofi, there are some things that have become natural for us, or there are some things that we have decided to adopt. And so, so when you say there's an eye pop attack, or you know, there's an attack, there's a security, there's, someone has been kidnapped, I'm like, okay, well, really, who, who was it? That's the point. Mm, but, but in Nigeria, we have uh, fewer than 500 cases per year. You know, it's, it's it's extremely rare in the country, and that's why uh, I think uh, it, it should not be compared to malaria because we all walk around with some form of malaria in our body or the other. You know, it's part of. I'm sure if you, if I go get tested today, you see malaria there. No, <laughs> I don't think that's the case. No, it, we all have we have the parasite in our. You know, if you go get tested, yeah. you might have some form of malaria. That's why you're able to fight. That's able to to live in Africa. You know. But um, in, in, in terms of um, cholera, it's extremely rare. We have less than, uh, we have fewer than 500 cases every year in the country, you know, in Nigeria. Uh, it's treatable, okay, it requires a medical diagnosis, uh, but it's extremely, extremely uh, dangerous. Like you're hearing, people are dying. Uh, the villagers have said that about 20 people have died so far uh, in, in Cross River State. Uh, Cross River State is a state that's dear to my heart, and I know it's dear to your heart too, because that's, uh, you know uh, where I belong, but but um, the villages in question are Ekureku community in Abi local government area of Cross River State. Mercy, <laughs> you used to, <laughs> I'm you sure you're very, very 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 uh, aware of Abi local government area. We hearing that the uh, 
the outbreak affected at least uh, 10 villages in a Kuriko community below, beginning from Thursday. Um, so we've heard from, like you said, the uh, head of the primary health care uh, uh, agency in, in, in Cross River State. We also heard from the Permanent Secretary, Cross River State Ministry of Health, uh, Dr. Iwara Iwara, um, uh, who confirmed the outbreak. He said he could not give a figure, you know, of the death toll. But the villagers are the ones saying that the village head in particular, uh, one, of, one of the village heads, sorry, is saying that uh, about 20 people have died so far. They've sent, they said they sent an SOS to their, their the indigents who work with government. And they're hearing that UNICEF and WHO will soon arrive to contain the situation. Um, I do not know why the cross West state government uh, does not know how many people have died till now. I do not know if they are already on ground but I am sure that UNICEF and WHO, once again, the information will definitely be on ground. But in all of this, Mercy, we've heard from the head of the primary health care agency. We've heard from the permanent section in Ministry of Health. But someone is missing who? in all of this. You know who I'm talking about. Stop that, Mercy. No, no. But, the, but the, 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 the commissioner for health in Crossroads, is she still a commissioner? That's the question. Yes. She, I've, not, I've not heard from her. No, no. So, so the thing is, the you question know, is, that, is she still the commissioner? That, is she is. I mean, is she not? Uh, so, yeah, so, I so, mean, we, we can't so, ascertain so, if she's still no, no, the commissioner. She, she is. I mean, I, really? Yeah. Are I'm, you sure? I, I think last time I checked. So, so I'm, all I'm saying is that I'm not talking about one person, Messi. I'm talking about the commissioner. There should be. There's, is there a, there's a health commissioner in Cross West State? It's, so, it's so, not personal. So, I'm just so, saying. I'm just saying. Please. No, no. Messi, calm, I, down, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> I'm just saying. That in all of this, we've not heard from the Commissioner of Health in Cross River. So State. who is the Commissioner for Health? I don't in care who it is. Okay. Must, no, must it, I don't know. Um, is it better I do? Even if it's if it's not better, it doesn't matter whether it's better I do or not. I'm just saying that why haven't we heard from the Commissioner of Health in Cross River State so, so why about, we... about this? If this was Lagos State, Dr. Professor Biomi would have been the one to be talking, not the Permanent Secretary, Cross River State Minister of Health or Lagos State Minister of Health, not the uh, head of the primary health care agency. The commissioner will come, Abai me, Professor Abai me, will so, address so, so, so in other words, So I, I'm saying I hope that if indeed Beta Edu is still the commissioner <laughs> for health in Cross River State, I'm hoping that her activities um, with the APC campaign have, have not distracted her from a primary assignment, which is being commissioner, all right? And I think that if, if, if this is the case, then it needs to help, we need to have a conversation uh, as to whether seven ministers hmm, of the Federal Republic and seven commissioners should be leading campaign groups or campaign teams at a time when they are still supposed to be working, okay? Their tenor is not up. You see, Mercy, in River State and some states of the country I know, if you are a commissioner, for instance, or you have a, an appointment with government and you want to contest an election, you want to hit a campaign, you know what happens, Mercy? You have to resign. You have to tender your resignation. Uh, and even for the, the, the APC primaries, you saw that the likes of Amici and Co. had to step aside, you know, uh, and he changed his mind. So I'm saying that I hope, I hope. Are you with me, Mercy? No, I'm, I'm with you. Okay. I mean, 100%. I, I'm saying that I hope that uh, 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 if, if Better I Do is a commissioner for health, that she's on top of the situation and not too carried away with her responsibilities uh, as the head of the APC. Uh, women's campaign, you know, team. That's all I'm saying. No. Right? I mean, uh, that, 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 that's a very, the, that's a very valid point that you, you have raised. But Kofi, the, the <laughs> next question would be whether, you know, she is the commissioner. Even if she is not. So I'm saying that we, not. We, we, no, where no, is no, the commissioner of, Kofi, of, of, of health in Cross City in all of this? There should be a commissioner. Don't forget, we are talking about the people here. No, Kofi. Not, not, not better. Kofi better is me. not. Okay, so why don't you allow me, you know, just put out where I want to say. So the thing is, Valid point that you have raised, right? And we know that once upon a time, Dr. Better I do, I mean, is, has always been the commissioner for health. But at, as at this moment, we cannot ascertain whether she's still the commissioner for health. Why can't you uh, ascertain? You're state. supposed to know, Mercy. Why am I supposed, supposed to know? know. Yeah. I don't. You're a journalist. So, so the next thing, I mean, but I don't know because that information is not available and, you know, all of the efforts to ascertain that. I, I, we can't really say whether, you know, she is. And if there is a commissioner for health, 
But the next thing Are you would telling be, me there is no commissioner for health in Cross River State? Because that would you, also be, that would also be that. so why? If there's no commissioner, I mean, if there's a commissioner Miss, for I'm health. I'm telling you that last time I checked, yesterday, mm. Better that's, was commissioner for health in Cross River State. So that's what the that's what the that's what the papers are saying. That's what you you have. No, no. Written. Except you can give me another name. I don't know no, any other commissioner so, for health. So, so that's what I'm saying. That's in that's what's. Why are you why, why are you fixated on whether she is? I'm or she, not. I'm just, I, see, this is what oh, I'm saying, Kofi, Mercy. You're not even allowing me to drop uh, my. Point. All I'm that's, you're getting me wrong. So I have to defend myself. All I'm saying is this: that we need to hear from the the Cross River State Commissioner for Health. That's all. And I'm saying that it's also another question to ask: who is the commissioner? So, so if you if you have in the books, we live in a society where there's a lot of things going on in the in you know by paper. There's a lot going on. Why do you then have uh, you know another person speaking? Like you have rightly stated, it should be a commissioner that should make this information public. But why is the commissioner for health not making this public? Is there a commissioner for health? And if it's the commissioner for health, what exactly is going on? Because we can't really assess it. And I, we know I, that I, I don't, I we had get, a commissioner. Once upon a point. time, Dr. Beta Aidu has been the commissioner for health and for Cross River State. But so far, we haven't heard anything from her. And the next question will be, is she still the commissioner? Is there another commissioner? Why has a commissioner not spoken? These are some of the questions I'm raising. But very valid point is, you know, what is we even really responsible for cholera and its outbreak? Up until this time, we're still talking about it. Is it preventable? I mean, is it like, you know, Ebola? Is it like COVID? Can it be prevented? Is, is there something that can be done to prevent all of this? Food contamination, water contamination. And, you know, it, take, it, it talks about a lot, especially in rural community where people don't have access, you know, to potable water and what have you. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Messy. Now, even yeah. if the commissioner speaks, yeah, yeah. Uh, even if the commissioner says, does it, does it even, you know, change anything? Not to make an excuse, I'm saying, does it even solve the problem, Kofi? Does it even solve the problem that 20 people have lost their lives, however, from community leader? Does that even solve the problem that, you know, cholera would end? You know, so it's a lot. It's encompassing. I think it's, it's quite disturbing to hear you say that if the commissioner speaks, uh, uh, um, would it solve the problem? I, I, it's quite, I, it's quite dis, dis, disturbing. What I'm saying this is this. We need to demand the highest levels of, uh, of accountability. And it's not to, to you know, cast a spell on your person. I'm just saying that for me, you know, we need, we need to demand the highest level of, of accountability uh, from, and excellence from our, our, our government um, officials. You know what I'm saying? Um, in government, the highest person in the ministry who is going to be able to interface with the governor and lead interventions. Parents are not going to start um, you know, saying less of this. The civil servants, they do as they're told. Okay? But the commissioner, when the commissioner for health speaks, you know that the governor is speaking. That's a cabinet level appointment. Now, my, 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 my insistence on why is the commissioner of health spoken about this outbreak is that this is the same state where the health commissioner told us that there was no COVID-19. Miss, were you happy about that? No, happy. Were, were, you, were you impressed with that? This is I mean, the same that, state that's, that's very, where, uh, where the, 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 the governor, who is not a medical doctor, convinced the commissioner all right, of health to go before the press, sit down, a medical doctor, and tell the entire world that Cross River State was COVID-19 free. Even when medical doctors in the state were getting infected, because they were, get, they, were, they were not protected and they were interfacing or treating people who had COVID-19. You know, even when delegations from the, the international community and the National uh, Center for Disease Control and, and Ministry of Health were trying to get into Cross River State to ascertain, okay? They, they faced the press and told us that Cross River State had no COVID-19 and did a press conference, another one, and danced there, what do they call that dance again, you know? To tell anyone say it was a charade. You know? So we know where we are coming from. Is it not the same state where doctors went on strike? Okay? We know where we're coming from. That's why I ask the question. I, I know why I'm asking this question. No, where so, is the cross river state? Because the next thing I don't want that's I, a very valid I, question. I don't, I, I, I don't want to hear I, that, I don't want to hear that the government will start to downplay things and hide things. You know what I'm talking about, Mercy. No, it's no, your no, state. So, so it's my state too. So okay. I don't want to hear now that government will start to hide things and just to look good. We don't want that. Let's let us know the real situation, okay? Let us address the issue and let us save lives, not to 
have a cosmetic government approach to make government look good. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so that's that's my concern. No, no, and it's your, for the people. And, and, and the your people. concern and your concerns are very valid. Not for I any mean, any government official. For the people. You know, so your concerns are very valid, and you know the questions that I've also raised and the concerns are also very valid. We're also trying because I mean, as much oh, as we, we say to. that, we haven't been able to. Um, I can't really say what it is. I remember when COVID broke out. I was there. I remember when you we were there. Went, grocery receipt. Of course. So you know what I I'm also remember about. when you know there were stuffs about. I went to the health center, the isolated center at the teaching hospital to see all that the government was talking about, the bed space and what have you. You know, I, I physically was there and I was present and I know what I saw and I know what I said. So, um, but, yeah. but it's, the know, questions so, that we have asked yeah. are very valid, but yeah. I'm, I'm also saying that, yes, we're looking at all of the questions because what, of the What, what, the, did, you the, of the what did you say? What do I say? No, I, I mean, what, what, what did you see when you, when you went to the M4? You know? <laughs> of course. Well, was that the government was, was not being truthful? Of course, the government was not being truthful. So they lied about about COVID nineteen not being in Cross River State. It wasn't even the case. It was the fact that you know you had um, uh, you know there's supposed to be like bed space and centers where um, you're supposed to have bed space and centers where those who are infected or those who are coming mm -hmm. from other mm -hmm. parts mm -hmm. quarantine center. That's what it's mm -hmm. been called quarantine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope I'm correct. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yes. And so that's what that's what it was. And you, there's a lot of, oh, it's all, you know, 100 beds in space. I could count how many beds were there or how many rooms we had. But we need to move away, Kofi. You know, and, Let's quickly and, and, talk and about So that's my you know, concern. You know that... Um, but, but my they, concern they here is... They shouldn't is, strip anything on that. So carpet, does it also all. make another difference? As much as it's very important, we know the climate that we live in, Kofi. It's a lot of talk. There's a lot mm. of talk that goes on in our political space. So even if the commissioner, I'm not trying to say the commissioner is not supposed to speak. That's the point you're not getting. But also on the other hand, I'm saying, even if you have the minister or the commissioner coming to say, oh, there's an outbreak, does it make any difference? Is there anything that will be done? It, it does. Or can be done? It does. No, because, because, saying, because right now, the... the, the it, uh, it does. The, the, it does the, in the, the sense the, of um, credibility. Right now, the, the permanent you know, secretary, it, Messi, sorry. The permanent secretary, you asked the question. You know, we, we are being prompted to move on. The Prime Secretary told us that he doesn't know, he can't give us the figure of how many people have died. That's worrying. That's worrying, because the Prime Secretary, sit down, but tell you, move, you move. That's worrying. But let, let, let's move on anyway uh, to the next one, uh, top 27. Argentina won their first uh, uh, World Cup in 36 years. I mean, I remember the, the last time they won it, Diego Armando Maradona uh, was the captain and the star uh, of that Argentine side, Albi Celeste. You know, and uh, in that semi-final against uh, England, where he produced a masterclass and another <laughs> and a controversial goal, a masterclass goal, driven from one end of the field to the other, and slotting the ball past uh, Peter Shilton, who was the uh, the goalkeeper for the three lines at the time. Fantastic goal, uh, I think the best goal in World Cup history. And then he he topped that up with the most controversial goal in World Cup history, probably known as the hand of God. You know, <laughs> hand, uh, of God can, uh, really hand of been. God. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> but but, but he, he won the trophy and cemented his place in history as one of the greats behind the uh, legendary Pele, who also won the World Cup. And you know, for him to be regarded uh, as a, as a great alongside these two, you must at least have won one World Cup. Um, so Messi, he's thirty-five. Uh, he's uh, going to be. He's, I mean, he's uh, he's just about to retire. Uh, the question was, could he retire with a World Cup trophy? That was the only question mark on his legendary status. And he delivered. You know, and he delivered uh, spectacularly. It was, this is the best World Cup final that I can remember. I mean, we can look at Argentina versus Germany uh, in 1986, 3-2. We can look at um, some of the great matches over the years. Uh, Italy, Brazil, 1994. Uh, but this, this was it. This was it. This match delivered, you know, on all accounts, you know. Uh, thrills, goals, controversy, excitement, and the teams kept going at each other. We didn't see a, a match where they came calculatedly to try and play safe. They all went out. And uh, it, was, it was a question of could Kylian Mbappe, uh, the youngster, the French youngster, who had all the hopes of the country on his shoulders, could he also cement his place and lay a stake to becoming the natural successor uh, to Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi? He did, so, his, he did his best by scoring three goals, uh, but it wasn't enough for the French national team. 3-3 three, three at the end of extra time, and they lost 4-2 on penalties. So, I mean, history repeated itself yesterday, and that's what it is. Uh, like you have rightly mentioned, Argentina has been there before. This would be, you know, the third time they're taking this away. 
1978, 1986, and 2022 was a great one. If you look at the lineup of players, I mean, prior to this time, you have mentioned uh, the the very popular player, uh, Mar what's he called again? The Hand of God. Yeah, Maradona. Maradona. Yeah. Oh, or better put he's, Diego he's, he's, Armando he's not, Maradona. I, I'm just imagining what would have happened if he was still alive and you know in that yeah, stadium yeah, yesterday. It yeah. would have been you know a great one, but unfortunately, even though there's also controversy in 2022 because I mean we've talked about that, the hand of God and the result. But really, we're not going back to what happened uh, back in time. But um, it was a repeat of history. It would have been very great to see France win. It would because history would have been created. But of course, history repeated itself and great one. But if you look at the lineup, I mean, players, especially with the fact that uh, Messi, I'm sure he was very determined to say, hey, I have to take this home. He's, he's, he's very talented. But if you look at the game, because I saw the game in the first half, I saw the game in the first half, it was quite depressing for me because, you know, French team was very overwhelmed already. It looked very overwhelmed. And I think the trigger started when uh, that penalty was caused. There's also no, another argument following the penalty that was caused, as, um, what's it called, Di Maria. Uh, causing that particular penalty and some people say that it wasn't supposed to be a penalty it wasn't water penalty I saw the game closely but I think that that's where they lost it but prior to this time if you look at the predictions and uh, all of the conversations surrounding who would win uh, you find that Argentina was a better team yesterday in all sense yes there was a comeback for the second half and you know the France team actually made it very great Mbappe was really outstanding he lived up to his expectation a lot of people put so much money there was so much expectation and it would have been very very fantastic for those who were supporting the French you know team to actually win but it didn't happen but not to say that you know the French team didn't come up they came back so there was a comeback in the second half right and but it happened what happened happened and that's why I don't like penalties really because uh, <clears throat> Messi is. You don't like penalties. No, I don't like. I don't like when oh. you play a game and then there's a draw and then you have to do penalties a lot. Now, growing up, I remember one time. I, I, Messi is a fantastic player, but I really had emotional breakdown when I watched, you know, Argentina and Nigeria play. Oh, Sometimes when I was much okay, younger, okay, and okay. they won, so it always made so me you, very you, sad. You, you, you've not forgot for forgiving them. I can't them. forget. So I always like, no, you know, it was he was the reason we lost because he's always, you know, on top of the game. He scored yeah, against yeah, Nigeria. Yeah. And we, I, I don't even see of recent time any game that Nigeria has actually played with Argentina and coming up top. So it breaks my heart. I remember I cried. I cried. I cried very well. And I stopped watching Nigerian football. So, so, really you, so that's why you wanted Argentina to lose. No, not <laughs> necessarily. But yeah, it would have just but, been great but, to see, you yes, know, France yes. come on top of the yeah, game. Yeah, but it was, then, it, was, it was really a thrilling game. I yeah, think it was, um, it was a uh, game. Argentina had to win that game three times to, to finally get uh, Messi what he wanted. Um, I mean, you go two goals ahead, first half, they pull it back to no, two. No, it was just a game over. You, I, I you felt go like to they extra time, up. three, two, and you feel that you've won the game only for them to come back. You know, I think the referee did very well. I think he, he was able to have a balanced game. Uh, he allowed the game flow. You know, I hear that the head of the FIFA referees uh, committee, uh, Pierre Luigi Colina, you know, he, he's a, an old time referee, and this is how he used to referee back in the day. They get the bald guy with the large eyes. You know, and uh, he used to allow the games for, especially not to be, not to influence the game too early. You know, if anybody makes a mistake, just issue a red card. Very early, no. He will allow the game flow. And that's what the referee did. He did well. Um, all right. So uh, we have to go. But Kylian Mbappe set a record, you know, uh, the first time since, uh, I think, Geoff Hurst or George Best. I think Geoff Hurst in 1966 to score a hat-trick in a World Cup final. You know, that's, that's, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. So congratulations to Lionel Messi. Maybe they should settle the goat debate between him and Ronaldo. <laughs> you know, he's been able to disgrace it. So I, 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 wish, I wish you would see a picture of Ronaldo when <laughs> Messi did that trophy. We have to go. Up next, we have a look at what the papers are saying and uh, open our boy in Kutaria. Our guest analyst is standing by to join us. Please stay with us. <laughs>